today I want to share quickly by the grace of God. First of all, to really bring to you the vision, the plan, and the purpose of the year. Amen. The Lord has given us walking in the new horizons of transformation and inheritance. That is the year. Walking. And I wanted to know the Lord was giving me to say adventures. <laughs> the adventures of new horizon of transformation and inheritance. And then the, the Lord continued speaking to me about this. The Lord said to me that we have come from Rwanda. And the Rwanda has ushered us to a place of a new horizon. Rwanda is like a, is like a, this, uh, it, 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 it is like a, the, the power of the, that blows the stones and opens the stones. And then from the, there, there is God uses Wanda to reposition his children. <laughs> Hallelujah. To reposition his children to a new horizon, God uses Wanda. To bring deliverance to his children, God uses Wanda. Hallelujah. And therefore, God uses Wanda to bring deliverance to the children of Israel in Egypt. He used Wanda. There was no message that could be preached there. Pharaoh could not listen to any message. And therefore God used Wanda. And the wonders in Egypt. They brought, they brought the children of Israel to come out and to walk in a new horizon. You see, they were slaves. Eh? They were slaves before they were slaves. Decisions were being made for them. What they shall eat, what they shall wear. How they shall live their lives, it was being decided by them, by, by, the, by, the, by the masters. But when the wonders came, it ushered them to a place of independence, where now they can make their own choice, where they can be able to be free. Hallelujah. Writing from the book of, uh, of Exodus, chapter 12, what Moses told them after they, they came out. As they are coming out from the place of the, the last one that happened in, as they are coming out, and Moses said to the children of Israel, and he says, And the Lord spoke to Moses and to Aaron, the Lord spoke to Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, saying, This month shall be unto you the beginning of months. It shall be the first month of the year to you. Hallelujah. You see, these people may live for many years. But he is like, this month shall be the first one. The first one in the new position. The first one in the new horizon. The first month, it shall be the beginning of your march. It shall be the beginning. Hallelujah. Praise God. See, let me tell you something. Years, while well, it's not a, a not what we call Roman systems, Years is not something which was made in America. That the Americans and the Chinese decided they shall be years. It was not something like a, what we call an American standard or what we call ISO standard. Hallelujah. That some people sat down and thought that it shall be years. But years is an agenda of God. Look in the book of Genesis. And God created years. The Lord Himself created years. And He says in the book of Genesis. Amen. Hallelujah. Verses 17. We begin from verse 14. And God says, Let there be light in the firmaments of the heaven to divide the day from the night. 
and let them be a sign and for season and for days and for years. Hallelujah. You see that? You see where the years were created by God? Hallelujah. God created signs. The sun and the moon. And God created the sun in a way that the sun can tilt around the orbit of the world, of the earth. God placed the sun in the orbit of the earth and the sun could rotate. Hallelujah. And then the earth was rotated. The earth, the sun is fixed. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And as the earth rotates, as the earth rotates around the orbit, it creates what we call day and night. Day and night. Day and night. Day and night. Hallelujah. The master, the great creator, the master created the day and night. Hallelujah. One as it is. Amen. He created a very two lights. One light on that side, one light this side. Then there will be no night and night. Hallelujah. But because he's so wise and so understanding, and he realized that the, the, the day and night are needed, he created the light that they can be able to create day and night. Hallelujah. When the, the sun is fixed there, when the earth rotates to Africa, there is day. Now the other side is night. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. And then he says, the same light, the same light, and the same sight shall be a sign for our seasons. A light of seasons. This, this, they shall be seasons. And they shall be, they shall be days. And they shall be years. Hallelujah. Amen. This is the beginning of what we are seeing today. So, the Lord God could have created one of the year. Hallelujah. Today will be just the second month of the year. From the time that Abraham and Adam, Abraham and Adam was created. But God, because God is a God of new beginnings. God wanted there will be new beginning. A new season. So the days and the years and the years mark seasons. They mark seasons. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. It took so many years for the, the scientists to know the days and the years. But by the wisdom of God, they came to find when the earth goes around the orbit. Hallelujah. It decrees what we call one the oil to that orbit, 365 days, it completes. Hallelujah. And then somebody said, where well, there is also half, and there's a day which is always a quarter. A day which is a quarter. That's why in Jeremiah, in Jeremiah, sometimes he has got 28 days, isn't it? 29, 28. Hallelujah. Amen. Because it's a day when the Lord, when the Son of Man, of course, spoke the Son for a quarter day. Hallelujah. Amen. And so we see the Lord Himself giving the years and season. The idea is a spiritual space. Idea is a spiritual space. It is a, it is a spiritual space where certain things must happen. It is a space in eternity. Hallelujah. Which some things must happen in that space. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Heaven operates with years. Heaven operates with years. Seasons are marked by years. And as we talk about the year 2021, is a season and a spiritual space that the Lord has created for an agenda. And another purpose. Say hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Kuna mambo aiwezi kufanyika, aiweza kufanyika mwezi mwaka wa 2020. Lakini mwaka wa 2021 hiyo mambo itafanyika. Kwa sababu Bwana alikuwa ameiweka 
They begin by chapter 1, the journey. The journey is a very important book for must read. It's must read now. Because it is preparing us to take off. Hallelujah. Verses 7. Let me begin by 6. The Lord our God spoke to us in order, saying, You have prayed long enough in this mountain. Hallelujah. You have prayed long enough in this mountain. The Lord is speaking about new horizon. Hallelujah. You have prayed enough in this mountain. For long, you have been in, a, in the same prayer life. You have been in the same, in the same level of spiritual life. For long, you have been stagnated. You have been, you have been serving in this level. You have been giving the same offering, the same every year for so long. You are, you cannot, you have been in the same level for so long. You have been having the same revelation for so long. You have been there stagnating in your life. And the Lord God is concerned. As the year moves on, you are not moving forward. Hallelujah. The things which the things which bothered you in 2020, in 20, in 2019, are the same things which bothered you in 2019. They are the same things that are going to bother you in 2020. They are the, the same trick the devil used to confuse you in 2019. Are the same way the devil is confusing you in 2019. You have not matured up. You have continued to become a baby in the Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. Say, you are right, Lord. You are right. So, 
they used to go meet in a kiosk. And the, the kiosk there used to be very packed. So I went to Baranda, why are kiosks usually full and hotels are empty? Then I found out, eh, one day as I was watching, we go to the kiosk to eat. Another guy was wearing a very beautiful tie, a kai toa. I said, I'm going to wear a tie. What about the shanka? Hallelujah. Maybe I'm going to wear a tie. And I found out some people the Lord has promoted them. They should be outside the kiosk. They should be eating in the hotel. But they are your neck and jam apple. Hallelujah. On top of our kiosk, leave it to the young people of Malaysia Shule. Hallelujah. Just move out. Hallelujah. What does it feel? Are we together here? You turn my life, 
The journey of 2021 is mine. Hallelujah. And I'm ready to take my journey of 2021. I am ready, Lord. I am ready to take my journey. Thank you, Jesus. Are you ready to take your journey of 2021? Go to the mount. Take the journey and go where? To the mount of Amorites. The journey is being in the mount. The journey is a journey of ascending. Hallelujah. It's not a journey of going to the valley. It's a journey of going up. Hallelujah. It's a journey of going up. New horizon is up. As the years are going more and more, we are not going down. We are going up. Hallelujah. We are going up and up. More challenges are coming. We are not going to go to a place where there is no challenge. We are going to go through 2021. It's a year full of its own challenges. That's why the Lord is beginning by telling us to be courageous. Let me tell you, many times the Lord speaks about courage, I think. I know there is something which is ahead tough. Hallelujah. But this is it's a, it's a mountain. It's a new horizon. It's a new place. Amen. The Lord spoke here and said, some people see the year, may not finish the year. May not finish with him properly. They may not even go to the inheritance. Because you see, it is a journey of going up. It's going to the mountain. There are challenges. Hallelujah. There are discouragements. There is everything to hold you back. But the Bible says, go up to the mountain. The Bible says, when Jesus was here, he took Peter and the and John and he took them up the mountain. In the book of Mark 9, he took them. Eh? He took them. Look at that. Mark 9. Seven, seven, seven. 
then we must begin from there. I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you may give yourselves your bodies as living sacrifices, holy, holy and acceptable to God. I pray that that shall be holy sacrifice. I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies as living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which is your reasonable service. The Lord is calling us into a, into a sacrificial service before God in 2021. And it cannot be done by bodies which are alive, but by sacrifices to God. And he says verse 2, and we not be conformed to this world. The Lord is speaking a lot about us being, being different from the world. Being not being conformed to our system, our way of thinking. Hallelujah. But he says, Lord, but be what? Transformed by the renewing of your mind. If there's anything I have set my heart to do this year is to read this book more than I've ever read. Listen. I'm trusting the Lord that every day I must sit around eight, ten chapters. Every day. I'm trusting the Lord. One as a few. Not about you, but it's about me. Hallelujah. He says one, be transformed. We cannot be transformed when we are consuming the same material in the world. If we are consuming the same, the same content with the world, we shall be like the world. Is it true? If we continue con consuming the same Facebook with the world, we shall be like the world. Is it true? Our reasoning, our argument. The other day, the young people were arguing with another young man, and he was arguing from a radio station or a TV, and the young people were arguing from the Bible, and they could not agree because one is arguing from the place of the world. Others are arguing from the place of the word of God. Hallelujah. And we must come to that place where we must allow the Lord to renew us. Our minds have been diluted. I read the scripture, the Lord is saying in the book of Deuteronomy, Thou shalt not pollute yourself with the world. Our minds have been polluted. That's why the Lord is calling us to come to a place of being renewed transformed by the renewing of what? Our minds. Our mind needs to be reprogrammed. Our mind needs to be reprogrammed. I mean, we have been programmed by the world so much. Our world has programmed us that we are failures. The world has programmed us that we cannot make it. The world has made programmed us that we are Asalas. Huh? Are you an Asala? Okay. Hallelujah. The world has programmed us that we, can, we are defeated. The world has programmed us in a very bad way. But we must come to the programming of the Lord. Hallelujah. We must come to the programming of our mind. Our Lord of the Lord. The mind is the most important tool you can. You know what? This one is the most important tool you have. Hallelujah. And this thing needs to be fed with the right things. It must be fed with the word of God. Transformation is going to be given. Transformation is going to begin by this night. I shall not, I shall speak more about that. But the Lord must bring us to a place. But I want you, if you can go with me and start eating five, three, four chapters, let me tell you, you are going to start being transformed. Hallelujah. Transformation. This is a book of transformation. This is the book where Moses, the Bible says, and God transformed the name of the Moses, El Baba, from Abraham to Abraham. God is a transformer. God is able to transform you from a village girl to a, a, what we call an international, an international, a, a recognized a woman in the world. Hallelujah. God can transform you. Hallelujah. He's able to make it. But if God will come us to a place where we tell the Lord, Lord, I want to be transformed. I want to walk. But transformation cannot happen. Look at where it is happening. The, the body is already there. The, the sacrifice of our bodies is sacrificed. Our desires, our appetites, our, our needs are already sacrificed in verse 1. I beseech you, brethren, that you offer your bodies as a living sacrifice. Hallelujah. After the sacrifice, then we can come and talk about transformation. So we start with God. Yeah. Hallelujah. I want to be clear.
My life shall be different. My prayer life shall be different. My giving shall be different. My time with you, Lord, shall be different. My service to you, Jesus, shall be different. Lord, I keep myself. I want to see you in 2021. Lord, I will say, whatever I put my faith on, I possess. I take courage to take my possession, to take my inheritance in the year 2021. Take your position in the living God. Blessed be your name. Oh, 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 Father, we thank you for ministering to us, for speaking to us, for causing us to see the new year. A year that will bring us to a new time for the horizon of transformation and of inheritance. Thank you, Lord. We take the courage and we take the word and we turn to God. Help us, Lord. We thank you and we bless your name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Is there anybody who wants to be saved today? Drago or Coca Sibiana. Drago or Coca Sibiana. Hallelujah. Now, again, I'm going to give you a vision. Last year, I'm going to give you a vision. 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 I want to come before God and make my life serious to God. Is anyone like that? You go on the end of the God and come and share. But I want to come to the end of the year. I want to come to the end of the year. I want to come to the end of the year. I want to come to the end of the year. Jesus. 
Son Jesus, we pray to your power. I bless it. And I pray that the blessing comes from God. Turn them out to God. Make them believe in Jesus. Make them believe in God. Separate them from every evil of the past. And make them new. And they shall serve you in all the days of their lives. Father, I'm okay. But at least you shall have. But at least you shall have. But at least you shall have. Yes, Christ. Yes, Christ.
loving us in this year, Lord, we surrender to you, Jesus. Use us, O oh God. Use us, O oh Lord, for your glory, for your honor, Lord, for worship you, Lord. And give you praise, we give you honor in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So we give the Lord a mighty clap. Amen.
is a new dispensation, a new ticket that we have begun, is a new season that we have gone into. And we have gone to a new ticket. So now, 20, 21, 29, watch that space. Hallelujah. Amen. It's a new space. It's a new season. And it's a time that we need to be able to consider it very seriously as a pastor. Come on, Madam Dam, that's in our guy, Chief Pediapo, Wangali, and the world of Wamba, to who are hiding about Wana and to Kulia. It's a new season. 21, one means beginning. Beginning, new, beginning. Hallelujah. 2020 means the close of the decade. 2021 means new, a new beginning. We are beginning, counting, we count from one, isn't it? Usually count from one, two, three, four. So we are now going back to count from one. Meaning the Lord is giving us a new beginning of one. One has to do it. Hallelujah. And the Lord has given us that one prophetic one. This morning, as we pray and talk about, God gave us a very serious word about this year day. He said, Because I'm raising you to a new horizon, I want to take courage with you. Lord said to us this morning that if we are going to make it, vision and dream of this year, we must take courage with us. What does it do? Amen. What does it do? Amen. We must be able to take courage because the Lord is giving us, coming bring us to a new horizon. And we must take courage. And we're talking about that just now. The last thing the Lord spoke to us this morning as a prayer is that we shall not fear. Amen. Because it's God going to go with us. God has not taken us to a place that has not been himself. One has to be like a man here in the area, He has gone ahead of us. And so he says, in this year, Amen. We should walk in unity. God says we should walk in unity. We should not scatter. Because there's going to be many things and many blessings. And we should not scatter. Hallelujah. We should not allow the enemy to scatter you. Scatter your mind. Scatter your spirit. Scatter your life. You must remain connected to the house of God. Because I want to tell you there will be death everywhere. But there will be life in the house of God. What does it do? You must remain connected and united to the fellowship of the house of God. What does it do? The Lord spoke to us. That in this year 2021, we should be able not to withhold our service from Him, to not withhold our finances, our giving, our service to Him. We should serve Him sacrificially in this year of 2021. What has He given? Amen. What else has He given? So, because of that, of beginning a new horizon. We have now then for declared the month of January, a month of prayer and fasting. Praise God. Amen. 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 That January is not a month of feasting. Feasting is over. Hallelujah. We cannot begin the year on a low place. We must begin the year this year. If we are going to go to the new horizon, then we must give ourselves in prayer and fasting. What does it do? Hallelujah. Amen. I have said from now to the end of the January is a time of our prayer and fasting. You can make a decision as a person, a servant, maybe sit a water full of breakfast, kill a siku, walk in this place, you share, you are fasting. Now some servant maybe sit a water full of breakfast, a lunch, you place, you are there, now who can tell us a water? 
mambo ya shetani ambao watajaribu lakini mipango ya Bwana naomba itimike ni mwaka wa 2021 kama kuna maombi ambao unaandika wala unaandika mipango yao ya mwaka naleta hapa mbele niweke mbele za Bwana haleluya amen write your prayers your desires write them bring them before God write them those prayers we shall pray for them and indicate them before God in Jesus name. Let us turn to the book of Joshua. Let us turn to the book of Joshua chapter 1. Taking our position 2021. Taking our position. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Look at the chapter 1 of Joshua. God is speaking to Joshua. Thank you, Lord. Moses is a man who walked in the wonders of God. Moses walked in the wonders of God. Amen. He walked, the man who walked in the wonders of God. And the Bible says now Moses brought the children of Israel out of out of the Egypt. And now Joshua was a man now who was taking them now to inherit their blessings. Hallelujah. And the Lord God Himself speaking to Moses to Joshua uh, 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 to Joshua after Moses. There are things the Lord spoke to him. And there are things the Lord is going to speak to us this morning about the journey that is before us. There's a journey before us. Now, after the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, it came to pass that the Lord spoke to Joshua, the son of Nah, Moses, the minister, saying, Moses, my servant is dead. Now, now, arise and go over this Jordan, over. And thou and the people and the land which I give to them, give it to the children of Israel. Every place that they that saw or foot that trail upon, I have given to you, as I say to Moses, from the wilderness of the Lebanon unto the great river, river Yuprit, all the land of Israelites, and the great sea, toward the going down the sand shall be your coast. There shall be no man that the other will stand before you. All the days of their life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with you. And I will not fail you, nor forsake you. Be strong and be of good courage. For unto these people thou shalt divide, for I never turn the land which I swear to the fathers to give them. Only be strong and very courageous, that I may observe to do according to the law which Moses, my servant, commanded thee. Turn not from this the right nor the left, thou that may observe and that you may, you, may, you may prosper where thou goest. This book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth, but for thou shalt be meditated day in day and night. That thou may observe to do according to all that is written thereof, for then shall they make, they shall make thy way prosperous, and thou shalt have good success. Have I not commanded you, be strong and of good courage. Be not be afraid, nor that you smile, for the Lord thy like God who is with you wherever you go. Amen. Then Joshua commanded the officers of the people, say, Pass to the host of the command. The people say, Prepare, you the virtues, for within three days you shall pass over this Jordan to go to possess the land. Which the Lord your God giveth to possess it. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. Taking your position, taking your journey. This is the part of the Lord to us this morning. In El Lavana, pray to us near Lake. We have come to a place where the Lord is speaking. One and the other sister. Kuhusia yale mambo amepaka. Ya kwanza ni kwamba Bwana anampaka. Haleluya. Bwana anampaka uzuri usimaka. Bwana ameandaa mpango mzuri usimaka. 
Hallelujah. Bona kwa nikukumbusha kwamba kuna pepo nyingi zilikuwa aside kazi 2020 ya kuvua. Lakini zimeshika. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Na zimekutishwa. Sasa tunapigwa mkopo sasa. Those in shingo la kazi. Hallelujah. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hallelujah. Na sasa chapter hiyo yao imeisha. Chapter hiyo ya 2020 imeshikwa. Sasa Bwana amefungua chapter nyingine upya. Hallelujah. Amen. Na sasa hivi Bwana amefungua chapter ya kumatia inheritance ya kumatia aliyo maiso ya kuinua ya kumariki. Hallelujah. Amen. Chapter ya Musa ikaisha. Bwana akakuwa chapter ingine. Hallelujah. God is progressing. Kuna mpango wake. Hii mwako ni kazi ya Bwana. Kuna kazi. God is God's blessing. Atimamo ya leo ni mkubwa wa Mungu kwa mbona unakimbia Mungu hana ajuli ya kunachukua. Is in charge. Hallelujah. But the Lord God, in the midst of trouble, is raising the church to a new horizon. Everything is an opportunity before God. Some things must happen so that God can be seen. The Bible says to fear and to die so that Isaiah may see the Lord. There are some things that must die. There are some things which must happen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. What else was in here? Jones and Moses died. And the Bible says, God now spoke to Joshua. So Joshua now began to be a One time the Lord told me something. I, I was in prayer and the Lord told me that scripture. Moses, my servant, is dead. He said, Lord, what do you mean? Moses, my servant, is dead. And the Lord said to me, there are so many servants of God who have died physically today. Hallelujah. Physically, they are dead. 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 Hallelujah. They are dead. 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 Wacha kufikiria, mleza kuwa na kama kuna mapausto, mleza kufikiria kama kuna baati, mleza kuwa na fikiria kama kuna hauli, lakini korona nifakia wengi zaba, ata wengine wameta mazisho, kabisa, wana wangea tena. Hallelujah! Wana 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 imuwa ma Joshua. Hallelujah! Ma Joshua is the generation of the Joshua's that are going to take the inheritance and lead the people of God to the inheritance. Hallelujah. And uh, Joshua was a man of courage. Hallelujah. One of the qualities, what made God choose Joshua? There are many people who have been chosen. But there's something very peculiar about Joshua. Like, if I need a woman, Jaguar, could you go on a faster person? Hallelujah. Amen. Joshua was a very courageous man. Let me tell you if there's anything God is looking for us in 2021 is a spirit of courage. Hallelujah. It takes courage to go on mission. It takes courage to share the gospel to somebody. It takes courage to preach. It takes courage to pray. It takes courage to rebuke the devil. It takes courage to stand for Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. There are many places in Nairobi where this ministry has all the branches. But it takes courage for someone to say, I'm going to town. I'm going to call. I'm going to open a branch there. It takes courage. Hallelujah. Many people want to criticize the church, but very few people have the courage to give. Hallelujah. You know what I'm talking about? Say, what is the idea? But you know that the courage, Joshua was a man of courage. Hallelujah. It takes courage to begin a business. 
It takes courage to decide from your place of work and be in a business. It takes courage, hallelujah, to take a ticket, to go to Dubai, to China, to buy this, to bring it up. It takes courage, hallelujah. The Lord is talking about us rising up to a new horizon of courage. What does it mean? Hallelujah. We 
they are changing all these instruments. These instruments. If you want to raise that sacred number of axis, hallelujah. Amen. This is not ours. We are going to buy a big speaker. I have to mama in there. It's mama speaker in that situation. I don't know how to do it. Hallelujah! 
in artigianale notte, lei si pare, e alla cama sulla sua bellezza, e la vita tu, e la vita, alleluia, e alleluia, e la casa di Gesù, alleluia, buona sentire, e me, quello che io, Dio di una era, quello che io di una era, si tratta di un abbaio a pescare di merita in una vita, Hallelujah. One of us is here with us. Amen. Let me get away to the church to run the church. The church is not here. 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 You can be the pastor. The Lord is saying you can arise. Joshua was nobody. 
But Joshua was taught by God, by, by God, arise therefore, take the position. Hallelujah. Go over this water. Thou art all the people, the land which I will give you. And the truth. Did the assignment, when assignment one on a party, what did you do? What was the arise? You look at Get out of your comfort zone. Let the Lord, let the Lord arise in you. You may not have the money, but you can, you can declare fasting for 21 days for that day. You want to come on some more this idea. You may not have the money, but you can be the man, the woman, who is going to pray for 21 days, like the Daniel, and do the, the vehicles out. One has to do it. Hallelujah. One has to do it. You may not have the money, but you can have the power to encourage others, like it was there. Who said, let us, like the Empire, who said, let us come and build the house of the Lord. Let us come. You may be an encourager. You may not have the money, but you may be the encourager. Hallelujah. You may be the intercessor. Who said, yes, there's a need here. We need to do it. We are well able. One has to do When we arise, God arises. When we take one step, God takes a thousand steps. Amen. Hallelujah. Like me, I'm taking one step. Hallelujah. I take one step, God will take a rest. I arise, God will arise. I take my position, God will take his position. What does it mean? Amen. Amen. Are we together here? Don't give this mouth for another person. Arise. This is you, the Lord is saying. Arise in your prayer life. Rise in my fasting. Rise in my life with my of God. Amen. I'm saying this here. I want to encourage everybody to do this word. This word. This word will give you courage. This is the word which will renew your mind. It will change you, it will transform you. The Bible says, by renewing of your mind by the word of God, start consuming this book. This book as you consume it, will change your heart, it will change your mind, it will change your attitude. Hallelujah, it will elevate you. It will tell you about what God thinks about you. And when you continue hearing, he said to those dancers of my name again, he allowed us useless. Hallelujah. One has to feel. Amen. People who are feeling who cannot talk anything else apart from feelings. One has to feel. Your mind will be filled with feelings and garbage. Hallelujah. But you need to be filled with your mind, the word of God. Amen. Bible says, God told them. Amen. How many people here are thinking that they are doing business in this 
מסוים עם אתיופיה, עם סומאל, גם יותר, חלה לומי, אמן? אין תנזניה, וואן אסיפיוי, חלה לומי, היי, וואן אסיפיוי, היי, וואן אה, לוקס, היי, אוס אמרי, אה, אמרי, קרל קוד, אני רוצה להתקדם מי בודר, חלה לומי, אני רוצה להתקדם מי בודר, אני רוצה להתקדם מי בודר, סאונד מסודר, הלו לוניה. הייתה לי פעיל מפלגת מלזרות במוקדו לגבי ההם. הלו לוניה. פרייז דה נאמו ג'יזה. סומאלי, רוב וקחת. הלו לוניה. כי אין להם עושה אתיופיה. הלו פוש. או, תן לי ג'יזס. הלו לוניה. היו פונים לעשות זה. אמן. היו פונים לעשות זה. פרייז דה נאמו ג'יזס. הלו לוניה. לוקינג פור פונצ'וניטיס. וואט קאנט אין טרום. in Southern Sudan. What can we do in Somali? What can we do, hallelujah, by the grace of God, putting our foot in my area? Amen. Verse 5. There shall be no man that can stand before him. God is giving us a promise. Hallelujah. Hey, thank you, Lord. One and a half years a promise. As we begin the year, There shall be no one to stand before you all the days. And I don't think the Lord is assuring you, as I was with Moses, I will be with you. The Lord is assuring us of his presence. Thank you. I am not alone. Thank you, Jesus. I want to 
obey the Lord. I want to hear you. Look at what that is being told. Okay? Thou, that thou may uh, be strong and courageous, that thou may observe to do according to all that which is in the law, which Moses, the son of man, did. Turn not for it from the right or the left, and they may prosper in the world of God. As we went like this here, the Lord is requiring them high level of obedience. And it is something the Lord is reminding them every time, every time. I demand high level of obedience. Yes. Hallelujah. I want you, Bishop, to listen to me. I want you, Reverend William, to listen to me. I want you, Amen, Samson, to listen to me. God is saying that you may be careful to do and observe. You cannot come to your inheritance. You cannot come to a new horizon until you come to that place of obedience. And today I want to give you the disobedience. If you are here today and the Lord has been speaking to you and you have been very disobedient, come to the altar of God. The Lord, I give you the disobedience. I give you the disobedience. I want to obey you. I want to walk in obedience to God. Hallelujah. Amen. God wants to wash us into these places. There are places you have never been, the Lord wants to wash you in. There is a ministry you have never done, the Lord wants to cause you to do. But the Lord wants you to obey Him. The Lord may make you at the middle of the night, don't even continue sleeping, wake up. That's a young son. God wants to go to me, I will raise up. I want to go and pray. Hallelujah. Amen. The Lord may wait, may tell you to speak to that person. Amen. Hallelujah. Yesterday, I went to a place and there was a man who was there. He wanted to see me. This man. Hallelujah. Amen. This man, I met him last year. And I talked to him, the word of God. And I talked to him and said, the Lord said to me, Bishop, I want to have a time with you. I feel what you are speaking to me, I need it. Hallelujah. And yesterday he called me and said, I want to, I want to talk to you. I went to a place and he was there. And the, you know, the plan, the plan was different. Instead of him being there alone, he was there with another lady. And I asked the Lord, what do we do here now? It's supposed to be a meeting between this me and this guy. And the Lord said, the Lord said, you have come here not to meet with this man, but this woman. Hallelujah. Amen. And you can you imagine sitting in a job and I can tell her speaking the word of God and this woman started crying and saying, Lord Bishop, since you came here, everything you have talked, you have talked my life. Hallelujah. God sent you to me. It was not this man, it is me that God sent you to. And I need this God. And I need life changes. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. God wants us to have high level of obedience. Sometimes you may be just sitting somewhere waiting. Sometimes you may be in a place where you don't know what's going to happen. But the Lord is one to use you there. Hallelujah. Amen. High level of obedience. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. The person I was waiting, I was waiting for him at 11. Mama, dear mama, I told mama, the man is coming at 11, we call. It was a walk. The man believed was coming at 3. But now instead of the man, God brings another people who I should evangelize. One has to be. And instead of me losing my temper, my, 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 my cool, I told the Lord, I am not program. I am not I want to obey you. Praise God. High level of obedience is required. Number eight, the passage, this book of the law should not depart from your mouth. It should not, the Lord not say, should not depart from the heart. Amen. The Lord is saying, should not depart from your mouth. Amen. The Bible. Should not depart from your mouth. Hallelujah. The Bible. 
Meaning you have read it, you have meditated, and you speak it. Speak it. Hallelujah. God, the Bible says, this book of the Lord, this Bible here, the word of God, should become our life. 2021, what is it all? But how shall we meditate daily, day and night? Reading it, meditating it. Reading it, meditating it. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. For then thou shalt make your ways what? What the Bible say? Thou shalt make your ways what? Thou shalt make your ways what? Prosperous. You want prosperity to the one? The Bible. The book of God of God. It is full of the prosperity. The Lord is calling us to have courage. The Lord is calling us to come and embrace his word. Hallelujah. If there's anything I want to read is this book here, the Bible. I pray that every day I may be able to read eight to ten chapters every day. Amazing. Hallelujah. One as if you will. I want to read them and meditate. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. It's not about you, not you. You may, maybe you don't want to, to prosper. But the Lord said that you shall have what? Prosperity. Why is the word prosperity going to come from? The word of God. Hallelujah. As I read it, as I meditate it, as I read it and meditate it. Hallelujah. Amen. The Lord is promising in this book of this word, this book of the law shall not depart from your mouth. That you shall read it, meditate it, day and night. That you shall have good prosperity. Have I not commanded you? Be strong. Shall we stand before God? Let us stand. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus.
Forgive us. Forgive every man or woman that has recognized their sin of disobedience. And spare so God their lives. Father, I pray that 2021 shall walk in a more greater obedience to your ways and the ways of God. Father, forgive us. Father, forgive your people. Lord, my Father, you desire, you desire obedience from us. You desire to observe the Lord say, be careful to go observe every word I speak to you. How I pray. Lord, in 2021, Jehovah, there shall be such a level of obedience to your word. Even when you speak to us for our right to pray, even when you speak to us for God, my Father, to give, even when you speak to us to be silent, even when you speak to us for God, my Father, to stop what we are doing, help us, Lord, to hear your voice. And to walk in a high level, Jehovah, to tremble, to tremble as a word of Jehovah, to tremble when you speak, to make you tremble, Jehovah, you may hear your voice. Lord, we renounce that disobedience, and we bring that disobedience to the cross of Jesus Christ. And we ask you, Lord, that my Father, 2021, Everything, Lord Jehovah. Father, I pray. Every rebellion, every disobedience, every law, my Father, Jehovah, in knowing of your ways and of your word, forgive us. Forgive everyone, O Lord. Forgive your people. Forgive your people. Lord, this are coming of obedience. The others will remain there, Lord, but they are also all in disobedience. Have mercy upon them, O God. Even Lord, my Father, to speak to them when they suddenly they have not heard your voice. I pray, Lord, cause us to hear your voice and to obey your voice. We dedicate our lives to God for obedience. In 2021, we dedicate our life to our life of obedience. We want to walk in obedience with God. We renounce every rebellion and disobedience from us with God. Cause us, O Lord, to walk in obedience. Because these young ones will not forgive them and bless them, give them a heart of obedience to do your way, and to do to walk in our ways, O Lord. And the mighty Lord Jesus, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Father, I pray for them. I pray. Lord, bless them, O God. Bless their lives. Bless their lives, O God. The life is not